DNA and RNA microarrays are very useful to study the interactions between nucleic acids and proteins, but they're also a convenient method for the preparation of sequence libraries. Photolithography allows for hundreds or thousands of unique sequences to be synthesized in parallel and is currently the only direct method for RNA synthesis on microarrays. The in situ photolithographic synthesis of microarrays can also be extended to chemically modified oligonucleotides, for instance, with 2' fluoro or peptide nucleic acid. Seeing the process of microarray fabrication and handling can help understanding how this complex machinery was developed from the well-known standard solid phase DNA synthesis. Begin this procedure with microarray design and slide functionalization as described in the text protocol. Turn on the DNA synthesizer UV LED and its cooling fan. Attach a UV intensity meter at the focal plane of incoming UV light and turn it on. On the computer, start the Y-Cell controller software. Turn on and initialize the micromirror device. Load an all-white mask file by right-clicking on DMD and then selecting Load Image. Right-click on the UVS icon and select UV Shutter Open. Read the power value on the intensity meter and count 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, read the power value again and note down the beginning and end values. Close the shutter by selecting UV Shutter Close and turn off the intensity meter. Calculate the average UV intensity value in milliwatts per second.